Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you another mini project related to profit center allocation. I will of course, I will uh, use the S4 HANA platform. So basically here I'm going to split some marketing expense, let's say 10,000 from one profit center to multiple profit centers. So one profit center is going to get 60% and another profit center is going to get 40%. So this is exactly how the companies are going to allocate the share of the cost across their multiple business units, multiple regions, okay, and multiple profit centers. So let's get started. So first question is why business need to do the profit center allocation? So what is the need of this one? So to understand this one, let's take one example. Let's take one business scenario so that it will be easy for us to understand this one. Now let's say the marketing departments runs various campaigns that is beneficial for multiple regions. When companies are going to spend their marketing budget or they are going to allocate their marketing budget, so they are not going to spend on the basis of product or on the basis of region or on the basis of their branch. So in this way, they are not going to allocate the budget. They are going to spend a total marketing expenditure monthly basis. And after the uh, once the costs are recorded with some cost centers or with some cost objects and uh, in month end they are going to spend the cost to different different uh, regions suppose let's say we want to see the profit center wise like we have two different regions south zone and north zone and we want to allocate this marketing cost on the basis of regions but initially when we are going to spend this cost we don't have any multiple cost centers we don't have a marketing department for south zone we have we don't have marketing department for north zone so that is why companies are going to spend because marketing expense means it is it will be recorded with the marketing cost center and it is let's say decided by or it is recorded at the head office level normally companies are going to spend the marketing expense at head office level and that is overall for the branding purpose not specific to a particular product not specific to particular region so that's why here let's say we have one uh, marketing department and this marketing department i am going to take as my marketing cost center and as and when the cost is going to record it so in this example let's say i'm going to take here 7th october so on 7th october company is going to record 10,000 as their marketing expenditures now currently we are going to book this cost center with because every cost center is linked with a profit center so for this cost center marketing cost center i am going to take here one profit center that is also created at head office level and this one let's name as your marketing head office but this marketing campaign is going to benefit to two different uh, regions so here i'm going to take profit center as my regions so we have one region as uh, our north zone and another one is your south zone so in month and allocations point of view we are going to allocate uh, some percentage you take percentage numbers anything you can take here so i'm going to take here percentage so this north zone is going to get let's say 60% and the south zone is going to get 40% of the total marketing expenditure. But initially when I'm going to record the cost, all the cost I'm going to record with the marketing cost centers and through the profit center allocations or assessment, the right word is assessment, distribution, any method you can take. Let's take here, I'm going to take the distribution method. If you are going for assessment, then of course you are going to use the secondary cost elements. So when we are going to do the assessment or the distribution of the profit center, that time we are going to allocate the cost. Basically, uh, this same concept is there with the cost center. So let's say from cost center, I'm going to transfer to various type of profitability segment so that is also possible but that is a different purpose we want to allocate the cost to different cost centers or we want to allocate the cost to different profitability segment here we want to generate the profitability report by using the profit center so initially the cost will be recorded with one cost center with one profit center and in end the cost will be allocated to the multiple profit center in our example two profit centers i am going to take here so this is the business example before we will jump into the SAP demo, so I want to quickly share something. So if you are already working as SAP or any other ERP as business user, business analyst or even junior consultants and you want to upskill your SAP finance knowledge or you want to start your consulting career in SAP. So I have complete uh, one hands-on project based FICO training is there. So which covers everything. In fact, the current scenario which I'm going to take, this is part of that project. So that includes GL, AP, AR, asset accounting, detailed product costing, margin analysis, all the integrations with uh, other modules like your MM, SD, PP, everything. So if you are interested, know about more about this training. So I will 
add the demo sessions or the demo video in the description so you can go through that so that uh, you will get the idea about this training and it will be 100% project based training so that it is going to help you when you will go for the uh, client level interview when you are going to change your career now let's continue with our practical SAP demo so first step is we are going to post the marketing expenditure with one particular cost center because initially we are going to record with the cost center, uh, the default cost center or the head office cost center for the marketing department along with the profit center. So here you can post a B50 entry. I'm going to post a vendor invoice. So let's say uh, we have one marketing firm and they are going to do the marketing for us. So that's why I'm going to post the B60 transaction code here to post this marketing expenditure. Just like a normal vendor invoice, non pure vendor invoice i am going to post this one so here i will select one supplier so let's take the uh, let's take this supplier supplier and uh, as for the example this expenditure we are posting on 7th october so i will take the invoice date as 7th october and the posting date is also let's take the 7th october and as for the example total marketing expenditure not for any region the general marketing expenditure for the month of october it is 10,000 and uh, uh, let's add here some tax component too and the debit will be the marketing expense let me take this GL account 7033 if you want you can use multiple GL accounts so 7033 and uh, debit will be so vendor is going to credit here debit will be your expense that is 10,000 and here you need to add the required cost center you can also maintain the default account assignment for this GL account I have not maintained that so that's I'm going to record this cost with our required or suitable cost center so here I'm going to take the cost center as marketing head office HQ. And also check here while posting this transaction which cost which profit center automatically system picked here so this profit center is not specific to any region this profit center is head office level profit center okay and that is linked with my cost center so that's why I got the particular profit center so check this profit center PC 1000 is my head office profit center and I'm going to post this expense So document posted 19002 this is nothing but a vendor invoice and here you will find the document type as usual it will be KR and here we have posted the cost so this is my vendor invoice 10,000 credit then this is my expenditure because I posted this expense inclusive tax so that's why these are my tax amounts and uh, this is my actual expenditures okay and right now I'm in entry view so if I will go to the GL view so you can see the prof right profit center is updated and what is the profit center here PC 1000 which is not your regional profit centers this is not your south zone or north zone profit center so initially when we have recorded this cost with it is recorded with this profit center and you can simultaneously check the profit center report too okay so we will ignore some other profit center because it's a running company code uh, uh, i'm using here for demonstration purpose so let me specify the profit center here and as per this example profit center is pc 1000 and i have recorded here the cost 10000 okay so it is recorded so it's not actually 10000 because inclusive tax so this much amount is there now from here we are going to transfer or the allocate the cost the two right or two profit centers that is our requirement here purpose is when in future when we are going to run the profit center wise p and l or balance it particularly it's p and l item so there you will find that total profit center south zone how much marketing cost related to north zone how much and marketing expenditure related to south zone how much so that internal we will have the profits are allocated properly because we don't want to record the total cost with one profit center we want to allocate it so for that purpose i am going to use here the distribution method you may use here assessment now i'm going to once the finance transaction posted the fi users activity completed now the co team is going to perform these allocations and i'm for that purpose i'm going to use here the uh, node or the t code anything which one is your comfortable for you you can use that one so go for profit center accounting then go for the period and closing because it is one of the closing activities it is it is particularly business process point of view see it is part of your record to report process and i'm going to use here 4k e5 the transaction code that is distribution method in another scenario we will see assessment also 
So select the uh, period for which period you want to allocate the cost. So I will allocate the cost for 7th, which is my October month because I'm using April to March reporting. Then uh, specify your document type for this allocation. So let me take here the A0 and specify your cycle. So we have another one is that because it's a different scenario marketing assessment it was related to copa assessment uh, just ignore so right now we are going to use this 11000 which is marketing cost allocation okay and uh, this one i'm going to use here because i know i configured so that's why automatically it's coming so i will take this one as marketing cost allocation and execute right now i'm executing in the test run Sender will be one because initially we have recorded the cost with one profit center and two receiving profit centers will be there. So if you want to see the segments, you can check that too also. So here basically segment one includes 100% cost initially that I'm going to transfer to two profit centers, receiving profit centers. Let's see the details one. Now see here, initially we have recorded the cost with PC 1000 profit center and from there I'm going to transfer the cost to two different profit centers that is PC 2000 and PC 1000. So this will be my minus line, this is my sender line and this one will be my two plus line. This is one plus line, this is one plus line. Anyway, right now we are in the test mode. So let's execute it, then we will check the final report. So remove test run and execute and make sure that while executing there should not be any error. So before I will check the report lifts, we will summarize the process. So first for the month of October, we have recorded 10,000 as our marketing expenditure. So we debited our 10,000 marketing expense credited the vendor, right? So vendor credited for 10,000 as our invoice amount and inclusive tax I have posted here that is our expense related to the marketing expenditure after this postings uh, you can see here that cost is recorded with the vendor so I will go to FBL 1N there I will select the date as 7th October okay and execute so this 10,000 is my vendor invoice is posted here and also the debit amount is your marketing expense which is there. So this is our invoice that, that was our first step and when this cost was recorded or when the invoice was posted on 7th October. Then in month end the CO team they performed the cost allocations particularly the profit center allocations here the purpose is the cost the 10,000 cost or in, in this case 9476.43 this point this cost need to be allocated because at this point SAP has not distributed or SAP has not yet distributed the cost to the respective profit centers so that is why next the CO team is going to run the distribution cycle assessment cycle whatever as per the uh, requirement so that's why here I have executed the transaction code 4k e5 for the distribution point of view so there I have selected the source profit center in my example the source profit center is PC 1000 and uh, that is linked with a segment of course and there I have entered my uh, allocation month at 7th that is October month so first I have executed with the test run then uh, once I confirm that everything is fine then I executed with the actual run so once I have exe executed it so SAP will automatically create here the postings that is known as your internal postings and the move the cost from profit center 1000 to profit center 2000 and profit center 3000 so let's confirm so once again, I'm going to execute my profit center report here. So along with this profit center, let me add the other two profit centers, PC 3000 and execute. Okay, so here after this execution, what was the total cost? The total cost, whatever we have recorded with the finance, that is 9476.43, it is the same. But now you can see receivers are changed. So initially the Profit center was recorded with PC 1000. After this allocations, you can see profit center 1000 minus entry and plus entry transferred profit center 2000. So which is nothing but my 
nor June. Then profit center 3000 is 379097. And wherever the minus figure you can see, that is your sender profit center. So sender profit center means initially where I have rec recorded. So we verified and it, we found that exactly whatever we are looking. So in the same way, the allocations completed. Perfect. So the allocation is now complete and the cost are completely distributed across the two profit center as for our example. And this is a complete mini project related to profit center distributions. You can use this one in your interview preparation. So it is going to help you. Thanks for watching. So we will see another video very soon. Thank you.